Vince Staples, this is an angry Joe Budden calling you live from the fucking Joe Budden podcast. <laughs> I hate when these niggas piss me off, yo. What what happened? What they do? We talking about superstars. I'm hanging up with you and calling Punch right after this. We talking about superstars today and who the fuck they are and what it means. I'm only calling you to ask, does a superstar have to have the ability to sell albums? Yes. Wait, no, no, no. Not today, though. I feel what you say. It depends. Like, the reason it's not going to be no superstars, I feel. No, I t- you want the long version? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right, so look. When you think about music, right? When you think about the Beatles and all you need is love and Woodstock and these movements, right? What makes people be able to become superstars, think about Michael Jackson being on MTV mm-hmm. and, you know, being one of the first black people to have a video, is life for like being able to overcome certain shit and just things in life that can kind of parallel to music as people we became so fucking desensitized to the world around us it's going to be really hard for that music to connect in ways that it has in the past like you think about the last huge songs we had and one of them might just be me being a west coast bias but think about like fuck donald trump why is he nipsey also being tied to that political campaign or thinking about kendrick we're gonna be all right being tied to those protests and things like that. It was things Jeezy, that were Jeezy, my president that, is black. What'd you say? Jeezy with my president is black. I yeah, my president is black. Them kind of things kind of make stars essentially because you become larger than life because you being able to attach yourself to something in the real world that's happening. Like, I don't think that that's, we, we so desensitized to life that it's, it's impossible to happen. And also the music industry is so shaky and jaded that um, when you look at how we count our albums and all this other shit, it kind of makes it impossible that lets you have a tangible connection with people. Like what makes it a Britney Spears is like, you know, little girls, her being the focal point for these little girls to see and her changing the way that they dress and the way that they look. Now you can get that shit off a motherfucker that got an Instagram page. So it's kind of harder to be a superstar yeah, this boy good. than it kind of has ever been. Like when we think about our last superstars we had in hip hop, I'm pretty sure we'll think about, you know, like Travis Scott, Kendrick, J. Cole, people that's that, that, that big. And they were still in the point of time to where, physical albums were a thing and if you think about like someone like Billie Eilish who is you know a pop star so to say nowadays she's not someone that everyone has to look at because the way the algorithms position shit in front of your face and the phones and things like that it's just I feel like to be a superstar everybody got to know you whether they like you or not and I feel like the internet makes that almost impossible see and that's where we differ because to Mm -hmm. be known is a caveat that has to exist but you have to move product. Oh, no, no, yeah, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you said, I thought you meant specifically music, I didn't know you meant product as well, because my thing is Kanye might not sell as many albums as, I don't know, a little we Uzi know, or something like never that. We've never argued with Kanye's genius. Pairs Punch, of Yeezys or Gap hoodies, you know what I'm saying? Punch put superstar in rap in quotes. I, I hate that this question even got us like this here, but he put superstar in rap in quotes. So when you say that, I think how many, hey, let's go by the day. Fuck albums. They're getting rid of albums, right? So you're yeah. right. I'm old school. Fuck albums. I see some of these other artists that people might think are superstars doing everything in the world to push and sell certain singles. I don't think the superstars have to behave in a certain manner. No, not 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 at all. Not at all, bro. Okay. I, I had a conversation. I had a conversation with the, with, with some label people the other day. Okay. And they was telling they was telling me like, oh, you know, we see you as this and as that, but then in the same breath was like, make a TikTok. And I'm like, these artists that you name it and your goals aren't doing these things. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I feel like we 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 just and you know it's all love. I, I know what the, I know why they said why they said what they said, whatever. Mm-hmm. But I agree with you. And when we say product, I think the product goes outside of music because we think about Kanye's superstar. He's not selling as many albums as a lot of people are consistently for the past couple of years. But these niggas ain't got motherfuckers lining up around the block for tennis shoes. And these motherfuckers aren't changing the stock price of Gap. So when you say like product, I 100 percent agree. I think that the product is being is being changed as what it can be made. You feel me? Because of how the splits in music have gotten worse over time, how they keep reinventing the streaming rules and things of that nature. So when you walk in Target and you see a Billie Eilish doll next to the Legos, like that's product. That's superstardom, too. And it's good product placement. No, but when you got Meg pushing fucking sauce for Popeyes, plus yeah, a product. whole bunch of other see, shit, that's pushing see, product. And that's not superstar for me. That's not. That's me. not superstar. But no, but no, 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 no. That's cool. Joe, that you, got, yeah. No, Joe, you got a point though because you got to think when you seen Travis Scott at the McDonald's, you seen mobs of people. Yep. 
So you can you Anything can put you these do. people in the same situation. I think what Joe was saying is the end result is different. Yes. Out of everybody who had those fast food deals, Travis Scott, Travis the only Scott. motherfucker that had thousands of people in the parking lot at a McDonald's. Pam, they were snatching the, the, the yeah. posters off Thank the window. You. See, Vince, that's why I call you, man. You have a way of articulating my thoughts better than I've ever have, man. But you said Travis. Nah, I know, I, 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 I know yeah, exactly what you're going at, but like also, but what you got to realize, bro, not. is like and everybody is like, I feel like today and when it comes to the bottom line, the monetization and like the just the ownership and like just the, the say you have, I feel like it's harder than ever for the artists because I think we've replaced a lot of, you know, currency and a lot of actual opportunities with this blinding fame monster. <laughs> Yeah. To where if a motherfucker gets a certain amount of views or a certain amount of Instagram posts or certain Joe engagement, Biden. like it's a reason it's a reason that they put your engagements in your breakdowns before you put out an album in your marketing plan and they don't put, you know, your the breakdown of the percentage of the streams that you're about to get. They never put that in anybody's plans, but they'll tell you how popular you are. But they won't tell you, hey, by the way, two months ago they changed how much money you got paid. Because that they pay and they send attention now. Balls. So it's kind of hard for artists. Yo. Balls. This nigga's a monster. I'm gonna stop calling you. <laughs>